Well, hello everyone, you're here with another LEGO Star Wars solo review, and this one is on the Imperial TIE Fighter. So on the front of the box here, you see LEGO LEGO, Star Wars LEGO, the new solo border, and all the minifigs included, and picture of the set in action. You can see, recommend ages 9 through 14, set number 75211, and it has 519 pieces. Sock back. You see it in another position. One of the features of it, the mini figs in action. So now on to the booklet, which same picture is on the front of the box and everything. On the back, how to win on the online survey. All the pieces that are included with the set. And then after Lego Life, after the build figures that there are. Add for all the sets of the Spring Wave, add for all the mini things that come with each set, and then the last building steps. And so now on to the mini things. First off is the TIE Fire Pilot, who of which is just about the same as ones from Rogue One and the original trilogy and everything. For a few years, for the last few years. Well, I guess. Well, I guess. Uh, the camera's not voice activated and everything. Yeah, there, there's a good view of the printing. And helmet printing, which is kind of the same as previous ones. And there he is from the back. And of course, angry cold face. And everything. And then next up. Is a Bim Bam Stormtrooper. So Kawhi has the same uh, torso print and everything, and same helmet piece as all, all the other stormtroopers have, but in this gray color, but probably either mucky or camouflage look to it. And what's different is has a, the like, cape piece, which is this like older material that they used to use, but has some good printing on it to be with the, for a hood, probably to be a part of a cloak or something. And there's some like back torso printing and underneath same exact angry clone face next is Han Solo that is in an imperial disguise so as you see has some good printing to it and then the helmet piece which with the goggles printed on it just like the ATST pilots do no, but with a long pistol there. And there's the back. Or his double side face. And same piece as the Mimbam Stormtrooper one did. And underneath it is some back torso printing. And lastly is Tobias Beckett, being played by Willie Harrelson, I think. And see, in his face printing, which done well, and has and his torso printing also done pretty good. Lee has, he's holding two silver small pistols right there. And the same exact piece, or half piece, as other Imperial officers did in the past. And there's his back torso printing, but no double sided face. Now to the main part of it is the TIE Fighter itself. So what I think is uh, has this pretty good TIE Fighter in the back there is. So, so like some greebling details with those like uh, curved pieces which I think were from the Nexonites line and everything. And well for the wings that there are. 
of which is kind of similar to that of the like first order TIE fighter and the one from 2012. So this is probably like the one from 2012, but some modifications and everything. But like, you know, the like skate roller pieces, or yeah, roller skate pieces, just like the first order one did, and a piece similar to that of the first order one, but it's printed and everything. And also, good use of like all of these around. A lot of exposed studs, but it's a common thing for Lego. And then for like the like cockpit piece, which is just about like the other ones, but and everything. And then for the back side is have that a couple of dishes to be the back engine, just like Rogue One's Tie Striker once did. And another, some more of those like, like Nexonite shield pieces. Uh, not sure though. And of course, one of the only features is the like spring launchers, or like the first one one did. And you can open this up, and there's bow droid body piece, and the top part opens up. But what's a little bit different from previous ones is that there's a couple of clips in there to put the blaster from the pilot, to put the pilot's blaster into it like so. And there's, as you can see, just not at, not at all any studs, but that's fine to sit the pilot into. But at least they, I think they don't put studs there, so it's easy to get the pilot figure out. And now, on to a little comparison. As here it is with the First Order Specialist's TIE Fire from a couple years ago, or from 2015. So as you see, similar designs, but like middle area, which is quite different but not at all the like antenna gun piece above. But like spring load launchers are kind of the same areas. But this one did have a like rear view cockpit piece. But the like this one of which doesn't. But also the like rooftop canopy piece is a little different. But at least the, the differences works that this is for Solo, and this is for Force Awakens and Last Jedi. Oh, and also, detailing is quite, the designs of the wings quite the same, but opposite colors. But, you know, it's supposed to be like that. But also, it's quite a bit more sturdy than that last one, or the 2012 one. And now, on to it, the final verdict. Right now. So now, for the verdict. I think this is a pretty good set. Like, it's yet another Imperial TIE Fighter, which they haven't done in some time, or in quite some time. And it has some good sturdiness, and some good designs, and a good selection of minifigures. And if you're looking to pick up this set for your collection of solo sets, then go ahead and get it. And if you're looking to, like, have a TIE Fire for your uh, Stormtrooper armies, then go ahead and pick this up. And that's it with this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.